I went to sleep one night. I literally woke up the next day and I had the idea for the bookshop. A guy who's very introverted, who through his creativity, he works out all the demons from his past. And he does it through music. When Susan sat down, I just thought there's nothing to be worried about at all. Mm. And those kind of people are the people who, they haven't come from a designated school of drama or direction or producing or acting. They've actually worked on the job. When we first started talking about it, uh, Susan watched all the videos that I've been, been a part of and uh, saw where my strengths and weaknesses were probably. But uh, I don't know, it, was, it felt a natural thing to work with Susan and it didn't feel like work. The music in some way was a catalyst for this character escaping from the demons of their, of their own life. And Susan's pretty physical because she describes stuff and she'll kind of move around like, like that. I've really got that kind of, um, you know, the emotional atmosphere. I mean, you know, who knows, at the end of the bookshop you may think that this has all been in Leonard's head. There had to be a sense of that it was a fable. A character who's sort of out of time, who's going between the past and his future, and we never really, really know whether it's a story in his own head or whether it's actual reality. And I, I, I sort of felt like black and white gave us that sort of sense of being slightly removed, like we're in a timeless place. The story of Leonard kind of and his imagination is what really comes off the page and kind of every interaction he has with another character, how that kind of uh, culminates in his mind. So you have a kind of real line plot and then you also have his imagination. He's slightly like watching, like watching um, theatre, but then Ali, our DP's kind of cinematography is so incredible. You just kind of get lost in, in Leonard's world. So